Now at 1030 fentanyl, it's the killer drug poisoning communities across California and the country, leading to a growing number of overdose deaths. Riverside County is a major pipeline for fentanyl shipments coming from the Mexican border to the U.S. And that is where a specialized team has made so many arrests. And it's led to an unprecedented number of prosecutions in fentanyl death cases. KTLA's Kareen Winter spent months undercover with officers working to stop fentanyl sales and save lives. You've seen the headlines. We're following breaking news. A teenager is dead and three others are recovering. After overdosing on pills believed to be laced with fentanyl. Each day across America, men, women, even children dying from fentanyl overdoses. The DEA says 40% of fake street drugs packaged as prescription pills like oxycodone, Xanax, and Percocet contain the killer opioid, 40%. We're about to do a 20,000 pill seizure. That's what keeps this specialized narcotics team on the move. Just stay right there, don't move. Keep your hands visible. KTLA photojournalist Greg True and I were right there on the front lines of the fight to stop alleged fentanyl dealers in their tracks before someone else dies. This is what they were looking for in this midnight bust fentanyl. They ripped apart doors and rifled through backpacks. The drugs displayed on the hood of the car. These guys who the task force says are tied to the Mexican cartel had no idea they were selling it to undercover cops. Huge seizure tonight. Probably saved countless lives. Yeah, that's 20,000 pills approximately. So, you know, single dose uh, fatalities are up and so potentially that's 20,000 lives. We spent months following the Riverside County gang impact team, officers and agents from several local law enforcement agencies. The Riverside County DA Bureau of Investigations runs the unit. Our bad guy is saying uh, his GPS is showing a uh, 1210. We can't show their faces, but their undercover work, days, sometimes weeks of surveillance on alleged dealers has paid off. So this is going to be, uh, it should be roughly 750 grams of uh, fentanyl. Riverside County DA Mike Hesterin helped form the gang impact team in 2021, and they've arrested dozens of suspected street dealers, some tied to deadly overdoses. Riverside County was the first in California to prosecute fentanyl deaths as murder. 15 cases this year, the most in the state. Almost all of these large seizures are directly related to cartels who cross between the United States and uh, Mexico daily. That pipeline from the Mexico border flows right through Riverside County. The DEA says Mexico produces most of the counterfeit pills entering the U.S., with China supplying the chemicals for manufacturing. The analogy to a game, you know, it is cat and mouse. Um, the stakes are pretty serious out here, but um, we do what we can to, you know, try and make that impact. One arrest at a time. We're going to take him now if you want to start cruising that way. Primary on the pin, go ahead and uh, call it. You guys are go. Tonight, they're once again on the move. Watch cross, watch cross, guys. You guys sit down. With undercover officers in Riverside County, Kareen Winter, KTLA 5 News. And tomorrow, we're going to take you behind the scenes of the legal fight against fentanyl with the Riverside County's DA. He is throwing the book at criminals, and his office was the first in the state to begin prosecuting fentanyl deaths as murder. Other jurisdictions are now following suit.